Hello, fellow adventurers. Today, I'm going to take you on a very special adventure. I am going to share with you a little secret, the tips and tricks to success in the RV bedroom. So, follow me. All kidding aside. <laughs> it's not that kind of a video. But seriously, we do think that the bedroom is the most important place in an RV. For most of us, that's why we get a camper. We're tired of tent camping. We want something comfortable that has an air conditioner, a bed, somewhere cozy, places where we can bring all of our shoes and our clothes. <laughs> so we're gonna share with you some of our tricks to make your RV bedroom a success. We have three changes to our bedroom that we wanna highlight, and we're gonna start with the most important one, the mattress. Any RVer knows that the mattress that comes with your rig is terrible. And we've tried mattress toppers, we've tried pillow toppers, we've tried everything, and none of it works. You really do need to replace your mattress. Yeah, it really is so important to get an RV specific mattress that fits properly in your space because sometimes you have slides that the mattress has to fit under and things like that. And you wanna make sure that your mattress is gonna hold up to the rigors of RV life so that you really look forward to using your RV, your RV bedroom <laughs> on all of your adventures. And we're thrilled to partner with Brooklyn Bedding. They make four different styles of RV specific mattresses. They make all kinds of sizes. They have three levels of firmness. They have a 120 night guarantee. They have a 10 year warranty. They're made in America. They have free shipping. What more could you ask for? <laughs> We chose the Brooklyn Aurora Hybrid RV King, which is 72 inches by 80 inches. And we chose that one because it has a combination of foam and springs, and because it has amazing cooling technology, and it seemed like a no-brainer after reading so many amazing reviews. Each person's normal skin temperature is about 91 degrees, but this mattress has a special surface layer that has special technology that keeps the skin at an ideal sleeping temperature of 88 degrees. And that's important because I have a hot wife. The mattress also has edge support and individually wrapped coils which provide motion isolation. It comes in 10 RV sizes and is available in soft, medium, or firm. And we chose the medium option because we're side sleepers and that works best for us. Okay, here comes the fun part. It's time to let it fluff out. Oh, it's out of the plastic. Another thing to consider when selecting your mattress is the weight of the mattress. Our shipping weight on ours was about 105 pounds. Sorry to the FedEx man as he had to unload it from the truck and drag it up our driveway. But you do want to think about that. That could affect the weight in your RV. You need to know what the total weight your RV can handle. Um, it might be important to know, does your RV bed lift up for storage and can you lift that on your own? So you're going to want to take that into consideration when you are making your mattress selection. Well, first impressions, I think this is an incredible mattress and I can't wait to, you know, put it through its paces. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Seriously, though, it is super comfortable. We know we are going to get a good night's sleep on this. I love that it has the cooling technology because, again, all kidding aside, I really do get hot at night <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm super excited about this new mattress. And you'll have to stick around because we will give you updates on what we think. So uh, we'll do that in a future episode. And the best news is that Brooklyn Bedding is giving all of the Today is an Adventure Day viewers a 20% discount. So all you have to do is to go to rvmattress.com slash adventure day and you'll get 20% off anything on the whole site. That is a pretty good deal. So, our first most important tip for success in the RV bedroom is, of course, get a new mattress. So let's talk about two more quick and easy things that you can do to make your RV bedroom a wonderful, comfortable oasis. You might be wondering why we don't have doors on our closet in our bedroom. Well, truth be told, we had a problem with them at one point and had to take them off. And we quickly realized that that was a good thing. 
the closet is on Eric's side of the bed in the RV and he is a six foot two guy and needs a little bit more elbow room. And by not having closet doors, you can kind of see I'm standing in the entryway of the closet. If the doors were on, I'd be banging into it. This is much more open and comfortable and works so much better for us. So it makes our room feel bigger and more open and we really like having no closet doors. The next thing we're gonna talk about is this piece of wood we have here supporting the closet bar. You might notice all of these empty hangers. When we travel on our bigger trips, Cindy loads this whole closet up with clothes. We take everything, including the kitchen sink, and we were worried about this closet bar actually pulling right out of the rig. We've actually heard of some people losing all their closet storage because they put too much weight on this closet bar. And so our solution before we ever had a problem was to put this support in here. And it's just a simple two by four. I cut a notch in the top. I propped it up in here. I used a couple of uh, simple clamps just to hold it in place so it's not held in by any kind of screws or anything else that's permanent. It just takes some of that pressure off the closet bar so that whenever you put a lot of weight in here and you're bouncing around up and down the road, we have no fear that this closet is gonna hold up to everything we can put in it. So those are our three quick tips to improve your RV bedroom. Yep, number one, make sure that you replace your RV mattress with a wonderful new one, especially from Brooklyn Bedding. Don't forget our 20% discount. Go to rvmattress.com slash adventure day. Secondly, you're gonna get rid of those closet doors so that you have much more elbow room for the tall people in your life. <laughs> and third, you're going to reinforce that closet bar so that you can bring all the things and she brings travel. all of the things Gotta have options. <laughs> if you like seeing the rv bedroom here and you want to see the rest of our rig be sure to check out our video that shows everything on this montana high country 305 rl get out there and explore do some upgrades on your rig because today is an adventure day Now it's bedtime. Let's oh. go to sleep. <laughs>